People suffering from ailments like tremors and Parkinson's disease rely on deep brain stimulation as a treatment option. And now researchers are exploring whether this same method can be used to treat everything from depression to disabilities caused by strokes. Deep brain stimulation, or DBS, is designed to use electrical currents to target abnormal brain activity. The method triggers blood flow and a series of chemical reactions that leads to the release of neurotransmitters. Together, these actions help correct malfunctioning connections in the brain. This is how DBS works. A neurologist and other specialists fuse MRI and CT scans of the patient to map out and hone in on the location of the brain that will be targeted. Doctors then surgically implant electrodes on the targeted areas of a patient's brain using a thin probe called a lead. A wire attached to the lead runs through the head, neck, and shoulder under the skin to the chest area, where it attaches to a battery-charged pulse generator that initiates electrical impulses. Then doctors turn on the lead, sending an electrical current to the brain. The patient, now awake, may be asked to move an arm, for example, so doctors can ensure that electrodes are precisely placed. A few weeks after the surgery, the patient visits a neurology specialist who programs how strong of a pulse the device delivers, how long it lasts, and how many times per second the electrical pulses are delivered. Once the DBS device is programmed, it delivers continuous electrical stimulation day in and day out. Doctors tweak the voltage and other settings depending on individual patient profiles and what DBS is used to treat.